common question that gets asked about planning a wedding and picking out flowers is, is it tacky to use fake flowers for your wedding? And my answer to that question is yes and no, it depends. So if you're going to use like these types of, these flowers are craft store flowers. So they, if you look real closely and I'll try to see if you can, if it'll focus, the edges of the flower start to get a little frayed. So you could use them, but they wear a lot faster and the fraying just makes them look cheaper. I mean, they definitely don't look as nice as fresh flowers, um, but you could use them. It, it, when it comes to saving money and so forth, it could be a good option. The thing that you need to remember though, is that sometimes flowers that are in season fresh are the same cost as what it would cost you to go buy a bunch of fake flowers. So you just need to keep that in mind. And if you go to inspiredweddingplanner.com forward slash tacky, you can see a whole list of flowers that are in season during spring, summer, fall, and winter. And I've listed out a whole bunch of different wedding flower options for those seasons. You just need to go check your prices because it might still be cheaper for you to have fresh flowers instead of going out and buying the fake ones that don't look as nice. The other option for using artificial flowers that definitely does not look as tacky is what's called real touch flowers. And these are flowers that are made with a polymer on the outside of the petals and everything so that they have a softer feel and a, a more vibrant color. Like if you can tell with these roses right here, they might look kind of bright in the picture, but when you compare it to the real vibrant color of a rose, it's definitely muted just because it's not, it's not made with the highest quality or, you know, they're just pieces of fabric basically. So if you were to get, um, these real touch flowers, they're, they're very soft. They feel almost realistic and they look so much more vibrant in color. So those are really a great option. You can find those I have a link in my article that I just mentioned that you can check out to see what they are. You can get them in all different colors and um, types of flowers and you could make your own bouquets with them. Um, again, those are gonna be a little bit more expensive than like your typical craft store flower like this, but they will look more real and they will be better for you to, if you wanted to like keep your bouquet for a keepsake or didn't want to have to worry about drying out real fresh flowers so that you could preserve them. The real touch flowers are an excellent option. Um, the other option you can do if you're trying to save money on flowers is do some um, fresh flowers and do some artificial. Um, you could have like the bride's bouquet be made all from fresh flowers and then have the rest of the bouquets made with artificial if you wanted to save a little bit of money but yet still kind of have that fresh real appearance. Um, another way to save money is if you wanted to go with fresh flowers instead of doing huge bouquets for every bridesmaid just pick maybe have them carry one or two flowers and it's made with a small bouquet and then have the bride's bouquet be bigger and more full. Um, that, that's an, probably one of your best options if you want to go the fresh way and still try to maintain a budget. Um, it's completely up to you. You just have to remember that with, when you're choosing flowers, that it's what you like and it's, you know, if you're intending on keeping the flowers, then artificial is probably the easiest way to go. There is a way to preserve the fresh flowers, but it just takes a little bit more time and attention to do so and without risking of losing it altogether. Um, so yeah, it can it be tacky at a wedding? Yes. Is it always tacky? No. And you just need to look at your options, look at the pricing, because like I said, sometimes buying artificial flowers is just as expensive as buying the real thing. So you just need to decide what you want and what your goals are 
and leave it at that. So again, if you want to learn more about um, using artificial flowers and if it's tacky in a wedding and what you can do, visit inspiredweddingplanner.com forward slash tacky to see everything that I've written about. Is it tacky to use fake flowers in a wedding? So I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you on the next one.